Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your June readings. Who is coming towards you? What's on the way towards you? And what you need to know that's coming forward. General readings, loves. My highlight resonates with you. Might be here and there a message. Take it accordingly. My highlight be the message for you. Might do not. June marks uh, quite a milestone for the year. And yes, loves, we are halfway through this year already. Many of you might my, my kind of trace a line and see what you need to do, what you want to do, what you don't need to do anymore, and so on. But let's see, darlings. Who's coming towards you? What's coming in? Because some of you may have someone coming in. For others of you, might be certain things that you might know, might not aware, or might not even want, so you can avoid them. We have chariot. Some of you, there is a trip. But for others of you, it's kind of full speed ahead. Whatever the situation you are going through, yes. Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles, my apology. Seven of Swords. It's like you're not going to wait a minute. Whatever you need to do. You are know clearly what to do. Regardless of uh, a person or a situation. It's like you know enough. You could deal here with a um, Cancerian or with an air sign. Or someone who knows their talk or how to talk. So you are just happy to go. There's some kind of uh, situation like you are happy to go or to go away because you you know sooner or later you are going to be away too. Let's see what this is about, darlings. Ten of Wands, yes. Something here, it's done. It's like it's a done deal. The Sun, King of Cups. It's like... As above as below, I know what to do. And I know why I need to do these things. And for whatever reason. So it's it's kind of like for some of you might say, I need I needed to do this long time ago. So it's kind of I'm not gonna wait a day even to go. So for some of you, what's coming towards you is a situation that you are not going to tolerate or not going to keep anymore or not going to stay in anymore. You are out. But this is very, it's kind of a very straightforward moment or situation here. No matter who they are, a water sign or an air sign or a Leo, I feel here you are not going to stay a day. For some of you, it could be a job situation. It's kind of as the beginning, in the beginning even. The first day of June even. You are done. The Ten of Wands here. Nine of Swords. You're not going to think about it anymore. Wow. It's kind of like I need to think of me and my life. And not for whatever doesn't work or what... what does work for others and things like that. Yes, it's just kind of like, you know, how about me? It's like you could put others ahead of you many times or probably even all the time. But now it's kind of like, how about me? The Four of Cups clarifier, please. Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups and the Magician. For some of you, you could be you could be dealing here with someone who who put you in a third party, or the connection here was hot cold. Sometimes things work, sometimes things do doesn't. Sometimes they do the right thing, sometimes they don't. But it's kind of like mo most of the time you make things to work. It's like it was only up to me, not up to them. If I wanted to work, they were there. If not, they were not there. You know, sometimes people might say, well, if you want, you, you know where to find me. That's not true. If they want to, they also know where you are, right? 
So that's kind of a thing here. You are not gonna play the games anymore. The Five of Swords here, lovers. Whew. For some of you, this person could be quite jealous or there's some jealousy here. Very opposite. You see lovers, Gemini energy and the temperance here, the um, Sagittarius, very opposites. For some of you with the lovers and temperance, like when you are together, you you could be good. When you are not together, there was a lot of going on behind the, the scenes. But now you just choose peace and no more jealousy, no more scarcity or no more other other stuff. You, you're gonna focus on your healing. You're gonna focus on you, on a new beginning. For some of you, you just leave something behind here. No matter who they are, whatever they, they, they said, whatever they've done here. Who is this King of Cups here? Yeah, I feel here you really wanted someone or something. You definitely did. But they they wanted other things. For some of you, you wanted to make a home or to have a home with this person. But actually, they, they wanted you physically. They, they are still attracted to you. They are still very much into you, speaking of. Okay? But it's kind of like your goals versus their wishes, their goals are much different. Are much, much different. So it's kind of, if you still want this, they still want this. If you don't want this, then so be it. So it's kind of like you, you don't want to be here and there or just, just because. Wow. What else is coming in for you? We have the Hierophant, and what's coming else for you, it's a lesson. It's time for you to make a, de a decision and learn a lesson. Because you deserve much more. You deserve better. You have more to give and more to receive than you are putting there. For some of you, yes, this is a separation from someone, could be the mother, fa father of your kids. But I feel here, somebody here doesn't put any more effort into this. Okay? And things kind of get stuck here. And you you realize that it's up to you to do what you want. It's kind of, it's your decision. This person will let you to make whatever decision you want. And it's, for some of you, sorry for saying, but... You feel it's it's quite a shame they thinking of this and let you to do this. Either they are lazy, either they are... It's kind of like your goals, your wishes, like you, you fall apart. There's something here in the, those lines. Okay, what's next? After you leave this, what's next? There's a new offer here could be from the same person but I feel here this person will will kind of realize that they're losing you and you're moving on what I'm feeling here for some of you 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 could focus on your career more afterwards or there is another person coming in forward for some of you if you move to the distance from this person you definitely are gonna meet someone new could be a slightly younger or could be some someone who who will put a give and take into this connection, okay? But for many many of you, you are gonna focus on your work. Yes, it's kind of to. Um, but also for some of you, pay attention because you are gonna be tested related to connection because the, there is a person here who coming in. You might be afraid to let them in, but they could be the one. So pay attention to downloads. What advice? Let's see the advice here. Death, rebirth. Changes are coming up for you, darlings. So it's time for you to make changes. Absolutely. 
and it's kind of like be obsessed to change it's like these changes are necessary for your own growth and for your own expansion and I feel here for the next six months, if you're focusing on change, on work, on career, things could go way, way to the distance. Don't doubt certain things. It's kind of even sometimes when you, you have a hard time, don't doubt. But I feel here for some of you, you move towards a new person here. Someone who is honest, someone who is truthful, someone who is there for you no matter what. And it's a soulmate, okay? And also someone who could gone through a similar situation like you. But yes, deep reflections, deep thoughts, deep thinking. For some of you, definitely here, there is some uh, important lessons that you are going to learn this month. And also, whatever you learn this month, you are going to apply into your future. Wow, sounds like a plan for many areas, but hey, you are on the move. You're on the move. I see here, there's some speaking here. I see you very determined to make it work for you. Not looking for maybe, maybe. It's like, I'm not looking for solutions. I got the drive. Whatever that speaks to you, darlings. But yeah, that's what's on the way towards you this month of June. Thank you, loves, for coming forward. Thank you for watching. And if anything resonates, let us know. Blessings. See you next time. Bye for now.